mouths to feed, huh? Give them one of these ribs, just watch them grow. Ladies, this sirloin will put a smile on your man's face, guarantee. Done good, girl. Blind. Help a blind man. There you go. I see the morrows and see them clearly, sir. Even when all reason is lost and all truth has become lie, you will stand firm. Get out of the damn way! Both your saving and your curse. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess.
Hey, here you go. Hey, he's either.
I'm gonna leave you cold. Oh Lord, no!
Easy, easy. Yep. Morning, dear. Hello?
twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Yeah, you... Oh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on, and I must have made some sort of noise, because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> So, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. Good girl. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lovely day. Nice talking day. with you, ma'am. Good luck to you. You too. All the best. You're a brave girl. Real good girl. Real good. Morning, mister. Mister? Hello. Hey, good morning to you. Hey there! Morning.
Identify yourself. Man coming in. Lady. Arthur. Good morning. In no mood for this day. Keep busy and stay out of the worst of trouble out there. There she is. Morning. So, I got hold of that fountain pen for you. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Here, please take this. It's something I acquired along the way. Good morning to you. Yes? Well said, Dutch. Are you keeping busy? Good morning. Always good to see you. You okay? Sit down, Arthur. You like this offer, don't you? I found this. Yes, indeed. And I haven't read this one. Thank you, Arthur. did we end up over this way? Huh? There, do you, Arthur? <laughs> Saw some mice running around those earlier. on them sacks. Whatever you do, don't follow in your pa's footsteps. What does that mean? I'm only joking with you. You think you're funny. Good morning. 
No more desperate, Strauss. It's in Odetta's nature. Less desperate, then. Looking good, Bill. Why don't you sit down, Morgan? Hi, Arthur. Hey, Abigail. Hey, how have you been, Arthur? Fine, Mary Beth. You see that Mary Gillis? Sure. Yeah, I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it's all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. <laughs> all right, well, I should be getting on. Uh-huh. Yeah, Arthur. You okay? I pricked my finger again. I swear I'll just throw this on the fire. I'm happy to swap later if you want. I'm sure Grimshaw would find some problem with that. Folks seem really happy now. Sure. This. This is everything. Pearson. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Hi, Mr. Morgan. Hey there. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Uh, do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. 
and for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Ouch. Don't worry, I already sent a wire to the doctor for you. Oh, you little... Now, watch me. Candy from a baby. You got your bandages ready? This has to be hurt. You watching carefully? Nice and easy. Oh. 
all you. Good at this. Thank you. Bye. 